GE has been in India for over a hundred years, supporting India's aspirations and partnering its growth all along. All of GE's business segments, none more prominent than its power and water business, are today a part of the Indian growth story. In recent times, India's growing need for clean power has increased GE's focus on localization of its wind energy business in India. The renewable business in India is committed to technology, performance and reliability. In India, the business is localizing in every aspect, right from low wind speed turbine designs, specifically developed for Indian conditions, to the manufacturing facility located in Pune and expertise in projects and service operations. Apart from following strict safety and quality standards, GE works in true partnership with its customers on building their wind projects. GE provides the wind turbine equipment, transportation to the site, and installation and commissioning of the wind turbines, whereas the customer develops the project site and constructs the balance of plant. The current 100.8 megawatt wind power project is being built at a site called Palsi in the district Satara in the state of Maharashtra. The project uses 63 turbines of G India, which are built on the 1.5 megawatt series platform and has the capacity of 1.6 megawatt with a rotor diameter of 82.5 meters. Having the best swept area, naturally the plant row factor is expected to be high and that was one of the primary reason that we choose G to be our partners in supplying the technology and the turbines for creating and building this 100.8 megawatt wind power project. This gives you a confidence that the partner you have chosen is the best which will enable to get and help you in achieving better returns. While this helps each partner to focus on their respective areas of competency, it results in a highly optimized wind farm design and layout and minimization of the overall project costs. The journey for the wind turbines in India begins at GE's engineering center located at the sprawling John F. Welch Technology Center in Bengaluru. Here, in keeping with GE's philosophy of continuous improvement by investing in innovation, tools and best people, over 5,000 GE engineers and scientists focus on research and development for the next generation of products. The product designs go through rigorous validation processes. The path-breaking low wind speed wind turbines custom designed for Indian conditions have also been developed right here at this center. The engineering teams also help with wind resource assessment at the project sites. The proprietary techniques help optimize the wind farm layout, thereby maximizing electricity production. While GE adheres to global standards of performance, reliability, quality and safety, our goal as well as our endeavor here in India has been to provide a local product through a local delivery model through experienced and empowered teams. Once the design and validation processes are through, the focus shifts to the manufacturing facility. GE's wind turbine facility is located on the outskirts of Pune. Here, like with all other GE manufacturing facilities, the highest standards in quality and EHS excellence are the focus. Employees are encouraged to come up with ideas to improve safety measures. Emphasis is also laid on following set procedures and minimizing manufacturing defects. A wind turbine's so-called brain is its machine head on the cell, which is assembled using the drivetrain, the generator and control assembly. The rotor hubs are also assembled at this facility. Once assembled, each nacelle and rotor hub goes through a test run to make sure that the end product conforms to all critical quality features aimed at achieving superior operational effectiveness. It is critical to reach the components like blades and towers as safely as possible to the project site. Any damage or eventuality can impact overall project performance. While infrastructure, such as roads and availability of trailers, is readily available in the US and Western Europe, it is not the case in emerging markets such as India. In this process, GE has set a benchmark 
for innovation and safety in India vis-a-vis -vis the transportation and storage of key wind turbine components. The blades and tar sections are stored on site with a lot of care and attention, using special fixtures to hold them in place. Transporting wind turbine components also requires special fixtures to avoid any impact or damage. GE has developed and manufactured these fixtures specifically for India. Special hydraulic trailers are used to minimize the impact on the components while maximizing maneuverability. Specifically trained transportation teams take extra care going around sharp bends and curves as most of the wind project sites are located at remote hilly areas. Finally, the process takes us to the actual construction of the wind farm, which requires a complete and proper logistical schedule to achieve efficient and safe site installation. Larger components like blades and towers are delivered directly to the project site while nacelles, rotor hubs and down tower assemblies arrive from the Pune facility. Before installing a wind turbine, the grounding structures are laid down for the unit substations. A foundation is then poured which secures the wind turbine tower. Each foundation is tested for strength. Once the foundation is ready, crane is assembled at the project site itself as it is difficult to transport a pre-assembled crane across hilly terrains. GE is committed to providing the quality products and service in a manner that protects the environment, the health and safety of employees, customer and the community. This is our project General Electric is doing for the customer Greenco. The customer Greenco, they are the long term partner with us. They are doing 1.6 in 82.5 meters wind turbine in 41 units in Palsy village in the state of Maharashtra in India. The first component to get assembled is the down tower assembly unit, which holds the power electronics, including the wind converter. This is followed by the installation of the bottom section of the tower, which is lifted using the crane, and is then perfectly aligned with the base. Next in line are the middle and top sections of the tower. The nacelle is then lifted and fitted immediately after the top section of the tower has been assembled. The final step in the assembly is the wind turbine rotor. The rotor hub is now fitted with three blades and assembled on the ground with the help of cranes. The whole rotor assembly is then lifted and aligned with the nacelle, which is standing at a height of 80 to 100 meters off the ground. Team members inside the nacelle make sure that the rotor assembly is bolted firmly to the nacelle. Once the wind turbine is assembled and aligned, it is ready to be connected to the unit substation for commissioning test runs. Post the commissioning of the wind farm, the project team hands over the turbines to the services team, which then takes special care of the wind farm through the warranty as well as the contracted service periods. GE's low wind speed wind turbines are currently being installed across sites in the states of Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu with an objective to set industry standards in performance and availability.